much in right time, and I'm trying to tell we're sitting here behind Liberty Lines on Monday, October 21st with Sim Sister Double Happiness in San Francisco. Yo, guys. We got Ben, this is Gary Floyd, this is Lynn, this is Jeff. Hi. Uh, let's go around uh, what, are, what instruments, what are we saying or play? I play all the instruments. <laughs> <laughs> I, play, I play the other instruments, so he doesn't play hand guitar. I sing. I play drums. Bass, bass guitar. Well, it's like the rhythm section on one side. <laughs> cool. It's all split up. It's important people on the other side. Hey. <laughs> so we're touring, we're touring here on what album? A uh, brand new album we have out on Reprise called Heart and Mind. Heart and Mind. Yeah, we just finished 21 Days, uh, the Midwest and Northeast with the Mighty Lemon Drops. And tonight in Austin is going to be our third show out of eight with Nirvana. We finished that. Then we start a two week tour with Soundgarden. Then we uh, go back on our own and end up back in San Francisco, home, uh, around Thanksgiving. How's the uh, how's band being received? Really good. They Limit Drops have like a really hardcore fan base. And so it took about half the show for those people that were used to the English pop sound and I guess they thought we were gonna be like that to sort of get into it. And I'd say like ninety five percent of the shows for us were really good. And I'm happy to say that. The last two Nirvana shows in Houston and Dallas have been totally bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit different. Great. Good. They're really much bigger venues and a lot more people. They've sold out every show so far. So. Yeah. What's what song you got a new video out for? What yeah. song? It's called You Don't Know Me. You don't know yeah, me. You Don't Know Me. And who's it shot by? It's shot by a, a local production company in San Francisco. Oh, uh, where's it? Is it where's it being done? Well, it was submitted to MTV and um, you know, hopefully they'll play it. And if, Hopefully they'll play, and if they don't, well, hopefully we'll see it on, uh, like, you know, night tracks and your show. And, like, yeah, yeah, it'll be a raw house. time. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and others, you know, other, you know. Cool. Yeah, call up the request on raw time. Uh, so this is the uh, the reformed Sister Double Happiness. I know that, um, how long has the band been back together? Uh, a couple of years now. A couple of years. Yeah. And uh, I was going to be reading out that uh, they uh, take a break for a little while to, to do some stuff. We were together like three years, and then we quit for a year, and now we've been back together two years. Uh, yeah, I quit for like a year to explore some spiritual ideas that I had. Uh, basically, was living almost, but not quite, in a monastery. And then after a year, I got. Um, it came back to me that I was a rock and roll singer, that's what I should be doing. And I'm just as spiritual as I ever was, but I could get drunk and talk loud and sing and do that. It's the same thing, really, just a different way of doing it. That's great. What's it like with the band back together? Is it, is it, uh, is it, is it more happy it's than it ever was? Much, uh, much no, worse. it's great. Uh, much wonderful. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not like we even think about, oh yeah, we broke up for a year, and every once in a while we think about that. But it's like something that we just pretty much started right back when we ended. And um, that's what, what that's just was meant to be. Business so, yeah. Usual. Yeah, business as usual. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, city. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, Just chill with it. There's a magic thing called editing that we can play with. Oh, it's editing. I'll see you. The new music. Oh, I love the kids. Right. Right. Oh, I heard. Well, for people who aren't familiar with Sister Double Happiness, I'm just one of them. What, what kind of music uh, or, or should they, uh, what would they be hearing? Very sad. <laughs> sad. No, uh, we play... Yes, exactly. Um, first of all, this band like plays so many different kinds of music because all of our influences come out a lot. But I think it would say, it would be all right to say sort of a blues rock, blues rock. Uh, or you might want to say rock blues. I don't know. Both of those influences seem to come out. We play like acoustic songs too, like country music. And I think the rock and roll is sort of the main thing. And it's not like rock dude. But it's like, you know, this is something a little more real than that, I think. Like rock and roll. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna dig into the dicks. I'm gonna make you talk about the dicks since you're here in Austin. Hey, I'll talk about dicks. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sister Double Happiness, and what you're doing now seems to be a far cry from, from the dicks you know, of the '80s and the I was seeing back from where I knew you from. And from yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I, you know, what were you doing then? I was getting drunk. And no matter what, see, that's sort of like almost what anybody was doing then. If you're doing exactly the same thing now in 1991, 92, that you were doing in those wonderful, great old days at Raul's and 1980s, then you're really stagnant, and I feel really bad for you. Yeah. And I feel like that all of us progress, whether I, I progressed or not, we've, you move from spot to spot. I would like to think of it as being progressed. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, that was... That was so much my life then, and that's what I was doing, you know, raw punk rock days and all that. And um, and and that's given way to doing something else, you know. And this is what I'm doing now, and I'm sure, you know, maybe 10, 11 years from now, somebody will go, well, I remember back when you were doing Sister Double Happiness. This is so different what you're doing now. And I hope people say that, because I hope I am doing something different. I believe in this very much, what I'm doing, but I also believe in not being trapped in anything. And I see a lot, it's so unfortunate, I see a lot of people who are doing the same sort of whether it's the same sort of hippie mess or the same punk rock thing or the same thing that we're doing if you do it over and over it becomes really stagnant you get really ideologically hung up yeah I, I think what a lot of people are seeing now is that, uh, that a lot of people from that scene have moved up and they're, and they're, uh, they're doing high energy music at, at, uh, yeah. at, a, at, a, at a larger level yeah and I, I think that's really important that, I mean just once again, I have to go back to this. If you're trapped in some kind of box and you thought like you can't get out because of some kind of stereotype that your music has like put you in, I feel really bad for you. Right, right. So that's great, and it's great. I mean, it, it, it's weird to see like also like you see a lot of bands that come out and they're like, uh, you know, they have their brand new mohawks and other jackets, and they're like the new punk rockers, and it's it's like a nostalgia thing. They don't know that, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> Right. I mean, you know that, obviously. And yeah. it's sort of a, it's a, you know, it's sort of funny. Well, there's uh, there's always the possibility of, a, of an oldie station. They'll play the Sex Pistols and Dick's albums, and actually. Well, you look, I mean, the, the Pistols fine, 1977, that's a long time ago. Dick's first album with the three original members that came from here in uh, Austin, 1980. That's a long time ago, you know. Have you run across any of the, the, any of the people from the old that are, that are still uh, alive? Yeah, alive. <laughs> Chris Gates for one. I never Hart. see Chris, really. I, I know that he's doing well with this band, but he lives in L.A. and I live in San Francisco. That's like Austin and Houston. They're really different. <laughs> One's better than the other, you know what I mean? Right. Austin and San Francisco, they're, they're, they're better than their, their counterparts. Your choices in both yeah. are... Austin, 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 San Francisco. Plainly obvious. Yeah, San Francisco. Okay. <laughs> Very obvious. Yes. Yeah. That's great. I love Houston. It's great. So what about these chickens on your passes, man? Who did? Yeah, what about them, man? What about them? Um, yeah. That's scary. Secret message was it? Yeah. Um, Secret, yes. Secret, yeah. Message. Secret, Secret message. Secret message. Secret message. They're just a little mascot. Just the Secret mascot. Message. Subliminal. You'll find out <laughs> It's really not too secret. It's pretty deep, though. Yeah. It has to do with the, uh, with the pecker. Yeah, that's the chicken it. Pepper. It goes back to the dicks. Oh, yeah, that's it's back to the dicks. That's what it is. Yeah. We just can't let go of some of our roots. All kinds of <laughs> our symbolism. Roots. Our roots. <laughs> Never release the pecker roots. Um, get your hand firmly gripped on your roots. <laughs> it's trailing cool. down hill here. Um, cool. Well, we can wrap so, into the IDs now. So. Okay. Rapidly get those ideas. So, <laughs> Sister Double Happiness, the new album is... Heart and Mind. Heart and Mind. Heart and Mind, the new video is... You don't, don't know, know me. You don't know me. Call up and request it. And buy the album. Please. See the yes. video. Point at people weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching Raw Time with Sister Double Thank Happiness. You. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Cool. Alright. Hi, I'm Gary, this is Good Double Happiness. Madeline from really? Sister Double Happiness. And you're watching Raw Time. Austin Access Channel 33. And this is our new video, You Don't Know Me. Cool. cool.